Okay. Awesome. Cool. So what you can do is you can, um, can you share your screen and I can kind of just walk you through where, whatever we need to work on. Yes. Yeah, so I have the, let me find the, um, Oh, here. Because yesterday, remember we, um, we set up the custom conversion yes. for my home buyer guide leads. Yes. That's what we did yesterday. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll also set up one more conversion. So while we're here, why don't we do that? Let's set up one more conversion and it's going to be the call confirmed page. Okay. So, right. Cause yesterday, yesterday we did the thank you page. Yes. So let's okay. go ahead and just do the, the, the call confirm. So go to Karcher, grab that URL. And those are basically your two conversions. Those are the two pages that we want to tell Facebook when we run ads, our objective is to find people that are likely to get to these two pages. That's what this okay. is all about. So grab the call confirmed, um, everything after the www dot. Um, and so when you go and run Facebook ads, you'll be running conversions. And these are the two that you'll be running them to. And, and this is again, just like the standard events. So rather than using Facebook standard events, we created two of our own. Right. Okay. okay. So I need to click create custom yep. conversion. Yep. And then I need to name it. So, yes. so we're going to name this, uh, it could be scheduled appointments. It could be, it could be, um, yeah, it could be appointments. It could be HB guide. Yeah. Call confirmed or call or, or guide appointments. Perfect. Yeah. Appointments. Perfect. And then um, select your own category. Click on that one down there. Le you can leave that one. That's that pixel. Anytime you see the green, that's good. That's the pixel that's active whenever you see the green. Okay. Um, so click on select your own category. And then we're going to, we're going to hit the drop down and we're going to look for scheduled. Yeah. There we go. So there's our standard event. That's what that pretty much is. We, we yeah. name it our, our, our own and go ahead and paste in the, the, the URL right there. And then always hit the drop down. Yeah, always click the blue. And then, and then you'll be able to click the blue button. Nope. Okay. Perfect. And then, again, what we had to do yesterday is we had to um, – and, and you know what? Yeah, we had to – Open up a new tab. So hit the plus sign above there, up at the top. Open up a new tab and paste in that, um, that URL. Go ahead and paste it right there and open up that page. So this right here allows Facebook to read it. So right when we, right when we open that up, so now, now that pixel. So if you look at the pixel helper, click on the blue, the number four, up in the top right. Click on that and you'll see what we just set up. So there's our standard event. I noticed this from yesterday because now yeah. it has this type of symbol yeah. and it says setup method custom conversion. Yep. So that's our custom conversion. Again, Facebook, the standard events are just general, mm -hmm. but we want to name our own. That's mm -hmm. why I do it this way. Okay. So, um, so there's our own HB guide appointments. That's our, our custom conversion. So now go to the Facebook page. So again, you got to open it up in a new tab, which is what we did. And then we come back over here and we refresh this page because we need, we need that inactive. We need it, to, we need it to come active. So the way you do that is we opened up the page in another tab. We come over here, we refresh this one and that should now go active. And it's active. There it is there. So now you're literally, you're literally ready to start capturing leads. Like you're ready to start running conversion ads to capture leads, bottom line. But what we wanna do first is we wanna make sure that we're creating these audiences. We wanna make sure that we're able to set up custom audiences because that's, that's gonna be the most important as well. So those are basically your two conversions. Those are the only ones you'll ever need to focus on. So if you ever run a, a seller guide, for example, do the mm -hmm. same with that thank you page. Set up a custom conversion. 
Okay. Right. Um, so those and, are your main two. And yesterday you said my first landing page where people go to um, download the home buyer guide. That's not a conversion. That's a custom audience. Yes. I'm glad you brought that up. Yes. Um, because as, as we run Facebook ads, here's the way Facebook really looks at it. And here's, here's kind of the best way I can explain it. When you're, when you're running an, an ad, your, your objective is to get them to your goal. Let's call it a goal. Your mm -hmm. goal, when you're running a Facebook ad, your goal is to get them to click learn more and go to your landing page, right? Yes. That's your goal. But Facebook, what they want to know is they want to know what's your ultimate goal. Your ultimate goal is to get them to fill out that form and go to the thank you page. Yes. So that's why we, we set up, that's why we set up um, the, the thank you page as a custom conversion to let Facebook know, hey, that's the page we want to get people to. However, mm -hmm. not everyone's going to get there. Not everyone's going to get mm -hmm. to the thank you page. A lot of people are only going to land on the thank you page. Like how many times has that happened with you? Like you're online, you might see a cute bag, you might see some cute shoes, you click on it, but you don't buy it. That's a custom exactly. audience. That, that's a custom audience. She clicked, she got to the product page, but she didn't buy. That's a custom audience. Yeah. Now, if that, if that company, if that advertiser were smart, they would have put you in a custom audience and they would have retargeted you and showed you another ad with maybe a different bag because they know you got okay. that far. You just didn't pull the trigger. So same thing with yeah. this, the custom audience, it allows us to build an audience of everyone who's landing on the landing page, but hasn't mm -hmm. landed on the thank you page. Anyone who clicks on my ad and comes to my landing page, there had to been some interest there. There's no way you're going to just click learn more, go to my landing page if you're 15 years old and don't even ha have a house. Like, right. Right, like, like there's no way. Um, or, or let's just say not not because you're focused on home buyers, but that was kind of a bad example. But let's just say you're 15 and not even thinking about a house. There's no way you're clicking on it, right? The only people that are clicking learn right. more are people that have some type of interest. But again, not everyone's going to fully pull the trigger and opt in every time. But those are people that had an interest right. and we need to make sure that we're, 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 we're putting all these people in a certain category. And then also, also the leads. Let's say, for example, this is where custom audiences really play a huge role. Let's say, for example, I mm -hmm. see your ad. I click learn more. I go to your landing page. Mm -hmm. I fill out the form. Mm -hmm. I then go to your thank you page. Mm -hmm. That thank mm -hmm. you page, yes, we set it up as a custom conversion, but what we also have to do is we have to also set up as a custom audience because I need Facebook to also put all the folks who landed on the thank you page, mm -hmm. I need all them in their own custom audience as well. And the reason why that's so important is because as I continue to run ads to my local area, I, I need to make sure that that custom audience is excluded. Because if you already downloaded right. my buyer guide, why do you need to keep seeing my ads? You don't. Right. So the custom audiences, either you land on my landing page and I include you and, and you haven't filled out the form. So therefore I include you and retarget you for future ads. Or right. you come to my landing page, you opt in, go to my thank you page. Now I know you landed on my thank you page because Facebook's pickle is tracking you. And now you're in a custom audience. I know you landed on that thank you page. So therefore when I go run future ads, now I'm going, now I'm going to exclude you. Right. Because also when they land on that thank you page, they've entered my email sequence yep. in Kartra. Yep. Okay. Yep. However, they may not have, clicked on my button to schedule a call on my thank you page. Yep. 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 But I'm, I'm nurturing them through my Kartra email sequence mm -hmm. yep. to, 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 you know, entice them to schedule a call with me. To schedule a call, to schedule a call. And then, and then when they go and schedule a call, mm -hmm. they go to your calendar, they put their, their, their best time and the day they click mm -hmm. schedule now they go to your call confirmed page, yes. the pixel is tracking that. And oh, that's also okay. set up as a custom conversion, but then we also are going to set, set up the call confirmed page 
we're also going to set that up as a custom audience. Because yes. again, that's a specific audience that I need to exclude from seeing future ads. Yes. Okay, right? makes sense. Makes sense. So, so our custom conversions are good. We're done with this. And here's what I would do. Bookmark this page so you can always refer back to your custom conversions. Oh, we did that yesterday. It's bookmarked. Did you? Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. So now let's click on the dots to the left and let's go to... Um, audiences you should you should be able to open that up and see audiences perfect okay so there's going to be a few different pages that we create audiences around um one's going to be the landing page one's going to be the the thank you page one's going to be the call confirmed page um and that's pretty much it really um and and again once we go in and set up an actual, I'll walk you through just the ad so you you know you can run it later or whenever you want, but I'll mm -hmm. show you where, just like I showed you yesterday, the custom conversion, right? Mm -hmm. You clicked, you clicked in the red box and then you saw the green dot. You saw that custom conversion yesterday, which was lead. Yes. That's who we would target for the custom conversion. But it's very similar with the custom audience as well. As we go and set up the ad, we're going to be including or excluding these audiences as we set up the ad as well. So we'll, we'll go through that part. So yeah, click on that one, create a custom audience and lookalike audiences is something you'll do later on, but lookalike mm -hmm. audiences is super, super powerful as well. But let's, let's, let's focus on this first. So many different things that you can use to create a custom audience video is going to be one. In fact, you know what, let's do that one first because you ran your intro video. I did. So let's, yeah. let's create an audience of all those who watched it. Okay. So we can retarget them with ad number two. So go ahead and click, choose a, yeah, cl click right there. Choose, yeah, perfect. And then let's go with, I mean, I've, I've tested several, several of these. As you go higher in percentage, it's lesser people, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you have a three minute video, only a handful watch 95% of it. Okay. Like, ain't nobody watching the whole damn thing. Not everyone, right? So, uh -huh. so as you go higher in percentage, it's lower the amount of people in that audience. So what I tend to do is I tend to go with the through play. Like if you sat there and you watched at least 15 seconds, you're going to see another video from me, especially if you're in my targeted area. You know what I mean? So okay. I'll create, I'll create an audience. I'll either create it around through play or, or I'll create it around 25%. Okay. So, quick question. So my intro video was only 26 seconds and the second play. video I made was like 38 seconds. So it's okay. super short. So mm -hmm. is that good or bad? It, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's not good or bad, but at the same time, and, and this targeting, this creating the custom audiences, it'll work no matter what, because it, as you can see, the lowest one is three seconds. So you could have made a five second video and, and I could retarget everyone who watched at least three seconds of it. Okay. So, so it's not, it's not the fact that it's, 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 it's such a short period of time. It's more of the way I look at it. It's more of the fact that how much, how much value could you have possibly given me in 20 seconds? Right. How much of education, how much, you know, that's what I kind of look at. These videos well, should be value based and educational based. Okay. If we have time towards the end, I would like to show you my intro video. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. So let's do through, let's do through play and you can create as many of these audiences as you want around one video. So it doesn't matter. Let's just start with this one. Let's start with through play and then go ahead and, and choose video. You'll click on choose video right there at the top oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot. and then you'll find that video. Oh, that's it's this one. Perfect. So let's, let's, let's hit confirm on that one. And then, and then let's go ahead and give it a name. So the name is intro video through play or intro video 15 seconds. So something like that, you know, like you can, yeah, perfect. Intro 15 seconds, create audience. Perfect. Okay. So that I had 365 days. Was that correct? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that that's fine. That's perfect. So Oh, it's populating now. Oh yeah, for sure. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to create three more audiences. Okay. So let's click the blue one again. 
and then um, custom audience. And then we'll go and grab, um, go ahead and click next. Create oh. an audience, the first one. Yeah, perfect. That one. Actually, you know, I think you clicked on something else. Let's X out of this one, X out of that window. Let's go back real quick. The other option said expand an audience. Yeah, that's fine. X out of this one right here. Let's X out of this one, go back to the other one. Okay, let me, the thing is in my way, the zoom. Oh, okay, yeah, you could drag that. And let's just hit create audience and then um, we should be, we should be good. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to create an audience. So, so click that blue button. We're going to create an audience around the landing page, the thank you page, and the call confirm page. So there's going to be three more audiences. Okay. Okay, now create custom, custom audience. audience, right? Yes, right there. Perfect. Yeah, audience insights is just that's kind of more for for nationwide type of oh, brands okay. when mm -hmm. you're targeting the entire country and you're looking for the best targeting to narrow down to a specific interest. I that's see. for like more nationwide type of business. In your case, being a local business owner, you're targeting one specific city, for example. Yes. So there's not too much narrowing down you want to do like you want to just okay. target the whole city and that's it. Okay. Should I click website? Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So this is how you set up your, your website custom audiences. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave, you're going to go ahead and click on, click on the drop down all website visitors. Oh, this is not green. So here. Yeah. Make sure. And do you have, so you have two of them named the same? Well, the first one is Shermeen and the second one is Shermeen W. Okay. So the first one said something about I couldn't set it up because I had a vertical account. I, I don't know. So I had to create okay. a second pixel. So hit the drop down again on the pixel. What you always want to do whenever you're, you're, you're pulling up a page, your pages, for example, you always want to look at your Facebook helper, right? Your pixel helper in the top right, but you always want to try to match those numbers. And you're not going to memorize the whole, the whole freaking pixel ID. But well, I know make, it ends with a nine. So. Yeah, exactly. So it either ends with a, it either starts with a nine or you remember the last two digits of each one. So yeah, so just always make sure that the one you're using starts with nine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So, so you'll click on that and then hit all website visitors, hit that drop down. And you're gonna go down to specific web pages, people who visited specific oh. web pages. Okay, perfect. And so that's where your URL is gonna go. So go to your, let's start with the landing page. My, okay, this one. Perfect. So we'll get the link, and just like the custom conversion, we'll only grab everything after the www perfect so all of that that's our url and that's what you'll paste in and then you'll give it a name do i want 30 days in the past 30 days you can you can go up to 180 180 is the is the highest but yeah you can you can max it out i mean anyone who has landed on this page in the last 180 days are in this audience and 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 you can keep using you can keep retargeting that audience. I yeah, you could take it to 180 for sure. Um, okay. And then name the audience, and it, it is what it is. HB guide visitors or website visitors or whatever. Yeah, website guide visitors. Perfect. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. That. Okay, so here 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 here's what this is. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be an audience of everyone who lands on this page but never landed on the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Very specific, very, very specific. So in, this, so in that case, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to click on exclude. So let's exclude people, and this is where our thank you page is gonna go. 
So we're going to exclude anyone who landed on the thank you page so because this is strictly visitors. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we'll do the same with that. Contains or specific pages. Yeah, perfect. And then um, there's that. And then you can go 180. Okay. Perfect. And then create audience. Okay. Perfect. And that's that. And then also with over here, hit done. With the website, custom audiences, what you also want to do is you want to... Um, Actually, it's pending. It shows ready. Sometimes you'll want to do the same thing. You'll want to open up a tab, go to that page, and then come over here and refresh it, just like we did with the custom conversions to, to go from inactive to active, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to do it with this one, but in this case, it looks like you, you don't have to. It's already reading it right away. It's pending. It's ready. Website visitors or HB Guide visitors. So that, that one's good to go. Okay. So um, do let's the just... Next custom audience yeah let's do the next one let's do the next one so we'll hit the blue button again custom audience and then website and then now let's just grab the thank you page so specific mm -hmm. there you go and the thank you page right yep and then you'll turn the 30 to 180 and then name name this one. This would be HB Guide Leads. Perfect. And then let's just do one more. We, I, I got time. Let's let's do another one. Let's let's. So I don't have to exclude anyone for this no. one. Good question. No, you don't. You don't have to exclude anyone on this one. Okay. So the next one will be the call confirm page. your video <laughs> <laughs> I love you you're amazing right on I appreciate you cool so we'll just grab that part and then um, yeah they call this one appointments or whatever and also 180 is fine yeah you can go 180 on this one And let me and let me ref, let me let me explain that 180 and, and 30 and, and all those days just mm -hmm. to kind of you know bring some context to it and make it make and you know help make sense to you. That right there is mainly for let's say for example, let's say for example you have let's say you have an open house coming up. And okay. let's say that open house, let's say today's let's say today's let's say today's Sunday. Let's say today's Sunday and that open house is next Sunday. Okay. Okay. So we're seven days out and we're about to start an ad right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll create a custom audience around everyone who lands on that page within the last few days because I want to retarget those people who just saw my last ad because that open house is coming up and it's very time sensitive. I see. That's okay. when I'll adjust that number. So in this case, it's a very general home buyer guide. There's mm -hmm. not a whole bunch of urgency to it. So I'm telling Facebook, just bring me anyone, anyone and everyone who at least viewed this page in the last 180. I don't even care. There's no urgency. It's not the last 10 days, 30 days. It's everyone within the last 180. So Got it's only it. when you're creating urgency, when there's something that has to happen now and there's a date to it where mm -hmm. you can adjust the, the 180 to maybe drop it to the lowest number which I think the lowest number is 30. So if you have a, let's say you have a, a home buyer workshop going on yeah. and, and you're running an ad and you're doing it one day out of the month and that, 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 and today's, today's a 20, 28th or whatever it is, 26 or whatever. Let's say you're running that. Let's say you're doing a live event at, at a local restaurant. Let's say you, 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 you rented out the banquet room and you're about to put on a first time home buyer seminar. And that mm -hmm. seminar is going to be on September 15th. Okay. And we start running ads today. That's when the 30 days would be necessary. 
because I want to create a specific audience for everyone who's landing on this seminar page within the last few days, because I want to keep retargeting them to keep reminding them that that event is coming up on September 15th and they better not miss it. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. You know, so that's, that's the day, the days part, um, which, which really don't matter. It, it don't matter unless you're doing a live event. Okay. So, so that's that. Create audience. Create audience. Perfect. And you're done. So those are your main audiences. Those are your main audiences. And, and, and take that same blueprint and apply it to a seller guide. Take that mm-hmm. same blueprint and apply it to a listing that you may be running an ad on someday. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's those same audiences. It's, it's, it's the appointments. It's the, it's, the, it's the leads. It's the website visitors. And it's, and it's audiences of any videos that you got going on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're Book done with that. Today. Yeah. Oh, but, but, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and bookmark your custom audiences. So what I can do, yeah. Any other question you have for sure. But then what I also want to do is show you how to now use these in an actual ad. Okay. So where do we go here? So, um, so you got that bookmark. So yeah, so now you just go to your, uh, your ads manager and, and let's just go in and, and go through the process of, of the actual ad and I'll show you where these now play a role. Now the, the um, ad objective will be conversion. Yes. Now we're going with conversions. Even if it's a video, we're still going with conversions. I so, see. so now as you roll out weekly videos or bi-weekly or where, whenever weekly, as you roll out your next video ad, you'll notice that you won't have as many views because it was mm-hmm. only this intro where you went video views. When you go video yeah. views, that's for video views. That's what you're mm-hmm. paying for to get tons of people to watch it, but we can't cash views. Like, right. right. I, I can't close escrow on views. I need conversions. So as you start to run out, roll out more videos, the videos aren't going to have as many views, but you're going to have conversions and conversions are leads. Got it. So So click create, click create. And we're going to click on conversions. Actually, what you're going to do first is you're going to make sure you check the box. So click on start over. Oh, this is where we left off from yesterday. Yeah, let's just start over. I'll walk you through from the beginning. So hit that drop down. You got to always hit that special category. Um, You got to always go housing. Perfect. And then now we're going conversions. And then and then each each um, step you got campaign, ad set, and ad. Those are your three steps, right? So each step has a title. So I would for sure title it, like give it a good description. That way, when you're looking at it on the dashboard, you can tell right away what ad that is without having to dig into it and click on it and all that stuff. So conversions, I would go, I would go conversions. Yeah. HB guide conversions, maybe, maybe second ad or something like that. Like that way you can. I know the the theme of my ad is going to be about interest rates. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So that's, that's exactly, and that you don't want that to be too long, just a nice little short description that you can remember that you, that you know, right. That you know exactly what that ad is. So perfect. So HB guide interest rates, conversions. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And so what you'll do is you'll click on the blue, make that gray. So campaign budget optimization, you don't need that right now. Um, Hit continue. And that's step one. That's your campaign objective. That's conversions. Now, this is where, hit continue. The next step, ad sets. This is where your custom audiences and your custom conversions are important. So this is where we're going to include them or exclude them. So I'll show you what that, that's all about. So now we come here. So now you look at the top. You got ad set name. You got US-18+. plus. So again, that's the title of the ad set. You want to try to be as specific and detailed in that title as possible. What's that? I use your trick, copy and paste. 
<laughs> yeah, nice, nice, right on. But here's the thing: I do that when it's when it's when it, like like for example, I'll do that on the like ad, because oh. with the like ad, I kind of keep everything the same. But now that we're going into 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 conversions, I'll I'll name that something different. Okay. And and, and what I'll name this is I'll name it the city that we're targeting. Oh, okay. So I'll name it, I'll leave it HB guide and then I'll put the city. That way well, you can. Okay. Because when you look at, yeah, yeah, you'll, yeah, put the city, put the city and it'll make sense once we look at everything from the beginning. I do Falls Church, Virginia because I like that 15 mile radius. Perfect. It, ca it captures everything I want. Perfect. Focus on that area. Go all in. That whole Falls Church is going to know who you are. Let Go all in with that area. Perfect. Okay, cool. So right there, the pixel, click on that, that Where box. Pixel? Down, select a pixel. Oh, here. Click right there. Choose an event. Perfect. So that's your custom conversion. So scroll down and you're going to always focus on it. Even though we, even though we created one for, um, for appointments, you're really going to be going with 99.999% of the time. You're going to be going with leads. So the HB guide leads, that's, okay. that's what we're focused on is that one. So click on that. Okay. So, so there's your pixel. There's your custom conversion. Um, and then if you scroll down, Here's where we're going to put in our audiences. So right there, we're either going to click. Yeah, go ahead and click. And then, and then click on custom audiences, which they're all right there. But if you just go to custom audiences, you can see the same. It's the same, but either you're under the all or you're under custom audiences, whatever. It's the same. But this right here. So now what I want to do is I want to, let's say this is ad number two. I don't have any leads yet. I may not even have any visitors yet because all I ran was an intro video. So in this case with ad number two, you would just retarget the intro, retarget the, the, the 15 second through play. That's who you're going to retarget. You're going to include that in your retargeting. Now let's say we were on, go ahead and click, click that. Let's just say we were question. on. Yeah. Like the HB guy leads size not available because it's still populated or because I don't have anybody in there. Both. Both. Okay. Yeah, both. Really because you ain't got no one in there, really. But okay. um yeah, so that's why right now you'll just go with 15 second. But okay. as you go on to ad number four, ad number five, ad number ad number six, that's when you're gonna be excluding. You're mm -hmm. gonna be excluding. So click on, click out, click, click right there, click, click. Yeah, go to exclude, click on exclude. This is where you'll be excluding, click the box, and you'll be excluding leads, and you'll be ex excluding appointments. Actually, you know what? And, and then, yeah, and add number, add number three, four, five, and six. So go ahead and click on that. Click on leads, click on appointments. But then as you go on to ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, what you're always going to, always going to include is not just the 15 second, but go back to the top, click on that box below intro video. Yeah. Click on there. What you're always going to be including from ad, I would say ad number, ad number three and on, you're always going to retarget. You're always going to include the visitors. Those are people who landed on the webpage, but never opted in. Yes. So I want them to keep seeing me. Okay. So I'm going to include that. I'm going to include visitors and I'm always going to include my videos. So click on visitors now. Yeah. Okay. And there it is there. So as, as you start to run ads and as you really get this pixel data going, those audiences are going to, are going to, are going to start to grow even, even bigger as you start to spend more and, 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 and just start to just get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Those will always continue to grow more and more and more. And then, and then scroll down your locations, you'll go to United States and you'll just click edit and then you'll put in your city and then just go from there. So the age you won't mess with, the gender you won't mess with, um, even the detailed targeting you won't mess with. Just make sure when you put in false church, make sure you X out United States. 
X out United States. Yeah, because you don't want to target the country, do you? No. Oh, I have to exit out here. Okay. Yeah, you got to exit out because it was there by default. So you got to get rid of it. So, so here's another thing. Do it again. Type in false church. Yeah, always just X out United States first and then type in your city. And then also what you're going to do right above people living in, hit that drop down. People living in, people recently in, people traveling in. So you want to go with people living. You want to go people living in this location. People living in this location. Target. The United, the United States is still there. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Leave it. My bad. It's just a city. And then you can go 15 miles or you can go more than 15 miles. It, it's up to no, you. No, I want to go under, under 15 miles. 15 is a minimum. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, 15 is a minimum. That's fine. Take over that whole 15 mile radius. That's good. Mm -hmm. So but that encompasses Washington, D.C. I'm licensed in D.C. too. So perfect. That's good. Perfect. So scroll down. So you got that targeting. And then, and then um, on the detailed targeting, that's where you would normally put an interest. But because you're only targeting a 15-mile radius, you don't want to exclude people at all. You well, might as well just go after all that. of them. I actually did that on my real estate intro video. I focused on people who had, let's say, Zillow, Trulia, first yeah. time home buyer, stuff like that. You don't need to. Because again, if you were if you were running ads to the entire country, mm -hmm. then you'd want to narrow it down. But you're only running ads to a 15 mile radius. You don't want to try to you don't want to exclude that many people at all. Okay. You don't want to narrow it in. You don't want to, you don't want to narrow it into just your city, just to 15 miles, and then just to people who looked at Zillow. Because then you're, you're dealing with a very, very small audience. Got it. Okay. So you want to try to brand yourself in that area, 15 miles, brand it to everyone. You can't change the age anymore, so it doesn't even matter. 18 right. to 65, you can't, you can't change the, the, the age anymore, and that's a big deal. So you mm -hmm. might as well just leave the interest open as well. And, and, okay. and at the end of the day, what we're really doing here anyways, is we're creating audiences. We're creating our own audiences. So right now we're going to blanket everyone. We're going to, we're going to cast a wide net to everyone within this 15 mile radius. But at the end of the campaign, I'm going to be building my own audiences. I'm going to, I'm going to have my, my website visitor audience builder build, built bigger. If this is a video, which I'm going to run, I'm going to create another custom audience around everyone who watches video number two. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating my own audiences in this 15 mile. I don't care if they've been on Zillow or not. If you're watching my stuff, if you're landing on my website, you're in my custom audience, you're going to keep seeing my stuff, regardless if you've been on Zillow or Redfin or whatever. Got it. Right? So, okay. and again, it's, again, it's mainly because it's such a small area that we're targeting. So we don't want to narrow it any, any further. Got it. So, so go down, you'll leave it on automatic placements. I used to go manual placements, but now Facebook, it's Facebook is so, so advanced, way more advanced than I can even comprehend. And I've just learned where automatic placements, though, Facebook, they know where to place your ad. Like they, okay. they, they know where to place it. You don't have to tell them where to place it anymore. Just leave it automatic and, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So Daily budget, I would, I would normally change that to lifetime budget, same, same budget, same dollar amount, just go lifetime and, and, and whatever that number may be, you know, put the date. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be at at least 10 bucks a day. That's something that they, I, you know, you definitely want to understand is at least, at least 10 bucks a day, like at least 10 bucks a day, which would be 70 a week is, is kind of where you want to be. Okay, um, I still need to finish my video, so yeah, I yeah, yeah. So I can hear, right? Yeah, so this is all you need right here. So you're good. You, you got all that part already down. That video, that video, the next one, just again upload it to your page first, and then as you as you hit the blue button below, you'll just go to the the third and final step, which is the ad, and that's when you'll just click on use existing post, and you'll run it as that, at, you'll run that post as that ad. And just continue. Yep. Let's show more. Uh, okay. 
yeah, you can go show more. Um, you can either choose it to go out on only certain hours of the day, but I kind of leave all that. I leave all that alone. Yeah, so as you get to here, you'll just mm -hmm. click on use existing post and then just grab that post once you once you have it up. Exactly. And the ad name, should it be HB Guide Falls Church or the other name? HB Guide Interest Rates Conversions. What, Whatever is going to help you know what ad that is the moment you look at the dashboard. So okay. it could be either one. Perfect. And then, and then you'll go, you'll always make sure that that's your business page, right? That's the one right there at the top. That's the Facebook business page. If you have yeah. an IG, you might as well connect it. Use. I uh, do. Okay. Yeah. Hit that drop down, and then just um, see if you can see. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So connect that. I've never tried this before, but okay. Yeah. So just click on it. Perfect. You're good. And then you'll go, you'll go use existing post. You won't be able to do it now. But right. once you have that post on the page, you'll click on use existing post, you'll find that mm -hmm. post, and then you'll hit continue. Mm -hmm. And then and then you'll have that post. Watch, just pick any one for now. Pick the pick the intro one for now. Okay. Let's just do this as an example. So um, hit select post. And then there, there's where your video would be. So you'll just you'll just scroll through to find that video, and then you'll hit continue. And then this is the last step. The last step is where we'll come down and we'll click the call to action. Actually, this one already has the call to action. So it has the learn more button already because you have it from the previous ad. Yeah. But if you didn't, then it would say, you know, call to action right there and you'll just click on learn more. And yeah, that's where your, your link goes right there. Okay. And that's it. Scroll down, make sure that your pixel is, 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 uh, is running. Perfect. So that's, oh. that's the correct pixel, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Perfect. So you're good. Then you hit confirm and that's it. And you wait, you know, an hour, a few hours or whatever, maybe until Facebook approves it and, and you're good to go. So but as why you does run, it look like it's great. At, why is this button not blue? No, it's fine. It, it, the, the, but the, the, the dot is green. So it's active. It's good. It's, it's not blue because, because you don't have any other pixel to choose from. That's the only okay. that's the only pixel that's active, so it, it's not even letting you choose a different one, or turn it to gray. Mm -hmm. So so um, from this point on, here's what you kind of want to want to just keep in mind. As you continue to stay consistent, that's the thing about this. It's all about consistency. Like that's what everyone misses. They miss the consistency. If you can stay consistent and keep it this simple, I'm telling you, you're gonna crush it. But it's all about retargeting these audiences. That's what it's all about is retargeting these audiences because every single ad, you're going to have more people watch these new videos. That's a custom audience. Every single ad, you're going to have people click, learn more and go to your landing page, but they don't fill it out for whatever reason, every single ad. So we got to, we got to make sure that we're retargeting these audiences at all times. That's what's going to create your brand awareness. That's what's going to get that entire town to know who you are. And, and, and by, yes. by, by having that whole town know who, who you are and have them seeing you in the news feed every damn day, that gets people indoctrinated. They become, they, be, they become your audience and they start to like you. They start to trust you and they feel that they know you because you're down the street and they keep seeing you, seeing you in the news feed in video. Yes, and that's my plan. I know you have to be consistent and I really want to do what you're suggesting, you know, uh, put out a video or some type of ad each week. Yeah, and, so. and, and, and keep it that simple. Make, make, it, make it seem like a weekly TV show. You know, mm -hmm. every Friday you're going live with a new video. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Have fun. Um, and and, and don't, don't worry about trying to make these videos all professional and edited and all that crap like do it on your cell phone like keep it raw i gotta have a little polish can i show you the intro yeah. so i can get you get yeah. your feedback here you um, can polish it you could polish it but don't spend money on it if you can do it no yourself, no no i have i have my sister and she comes over okay and, i mean i give her like 10 20 dollars but awesome. um oh here it is can you see it yeah to buy or sell a home Hi, this is Shermaine Washington. 
with Weikert Realtors. I'm a local real estate agent here in Arlington, Virginia. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in Arlington, Alexandria, D.C., or the surrounding areas, give me a call. You can schedule a call with me by clicking the button below. I look forward to speaking I love with you. it. I love it. I love it. And see, so from this point on, though, from this point on, you're going to focus on one. Okay. You're, you're going to focus on buyers. That's what well, you want to do. Well, I want to focus on first time home buyers and then also for sellers, baby boomers who want to downsize. Okay. So in, in that case, you'll be creating different audiences. You'll be creating different audiences and, 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 and yeah, there'll be different landing pages that they'll be going to as long as you're yeah. creating your audiences then 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 you can you can do kind of whatever you want but it's just it's so easy when you can focus on one topic and just create audiences around this one topic because as you go in and retarget these people you know they're interested in the same thing and that's buying but the moment you put all these different things in it, foreclosure, now you're doing a video on short sales. Now you're doing a video on forbearance. It's like now you're grabbing, although you know all about it, now you're mixing up the audiences. So, so if you're putting me in an audience and one week you were talking about short sales, but now you're retargeting me with an ad and you're now talking about first time home buying, that's you've already thrown me off. Yes, and, but but I can, like you said, set up different audience because when I yes. when I target those baby boomers, mm -hmm. I'm going to set up a funnel and cartra yes. just for that a seller guide for those baby boomers. Yes. Perfect. So so what I, I guess what I'm saying is don't don't mix it. Don't mix the topics in one video. Do separate videos for each topic. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That'll work. Can you for see sure. my screen here? Yes. Okay. This is, this is the second video ad I made using uh, Canva. Canva. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll play it for you. So this is, okay. You got your custom conversions. You got your custom audiences. You got the setup of a Facebook ad. Now it just comes down to pouring it on. So how on. do I leave, how do I leave this ad because I don't want to confirm? You could just you could just get you could just hit the dots in the top left and go back to the ads manager and when you come back in and and click on create as you go and set up your next ad just click on start over yeah leave this page you could click on okay. leave this page yeah okay and you're good so um and so like like watch let's go back to the dashboard real quick so let's hit the ads manager. And this, this is what I was referring to. So as you title each step hmm. in, in, in the actual title, this is where you're able to see it. So right here, this is my bird's eye view of the dashboard. So as I look at the first tab, campaigns, I can look right away and I would have seen intro conversions. Like I would have, said it, I would have seen it right there. You titled it, right? Yeah. And with the ad sets, I can just look at the title and know what ad that is. Got it. So it just helps it when you title them. It just helps it helps you know what ads those are right away. Um, just just one request: when you do your video tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, can you just please because I know you discussed discussed it with me here about when when I retarget which custom audiences uh, or conversion sets to to you. Because you mentioned about for ad three, ad four, and I should include and exclude. Yes. It's really just right now, there's no audiences. We just have them set up, right? Mm -hmm. But as we go and run multiple ads, week two, week three, week, week four, that's when, those, that's when that pixel is going to start picking up the website visitors. That's when that pixel will start picking up who lands on the thank you page. So it's not until we get into it week two, week three, week four, week five, when those audiences are now going to start having some people in it. So okay. you're always going to include website visitors. You're going to always include people who watch your videos. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to always exclude leads. You're going to always exclude appointments. And that's it really. Okay. And, then, and then the custom conversion, you're going to always use 
the lead conversion, the the okay. the HB guide lead, okay, conversion, because when because in that case you're telling Facebook I'm looking to get people to this page and that's the thank you page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's the conversion the HB guide leads, but the audiences. You'll always exclude leads, you'll always exclude appointments, and you'll always include visitors and include these audiences of your videos. And I would probably all, I would always go with the 15 second if I were you. Retarget okay. and create audiences around people who watch at least 15 seconds of your video. Okay. And, and always retarget them, include, 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 include. Okay. Okay, well, I really appreciate the help. I'm excited, and yes. Um, yes, I just for sure. I know I'm going to get some leads um, using your strategies and methods. I, I I know it. Oh, you're 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 a rock star. You're so welcome. And will you do me one one huge favor? Hmm. Will you What's go that? to my 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 business page and just give me a few words? Will you just give me like some kind of short review or whatever on my business page? Okay, so that's um, the Inspire Digital. Yeah, so if on Facebook, so if you just go to Inspire Digital and then click on Reviews and just write me a few words, I would appreciate it from here to the moon. Okay, will do. Awesome. And I'll do the same for your page as well. So I'll, I'll, okay. I'll hook you up and write you out a review as well. So reach out to me anytime and, and let's, keep, let's keep crushing it. Okay, great. Thank you, David. Okay, you're so, so welcome. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.